Windows 8 Forums video production. Visit us at windows8forums.com. Hi, this is Mike from Windows7Forms.com and Windows8Forms.com. You're viewing a Samsung Droid Charge on the Verizon network, and you're using Microsoft Windows 7 from within that Droid Charge. This is a technological achievement that is unbelievable in its magnitude, in the fact that you are actually able to use the Windows desktop from within a cell phone using an ARM processor. It is a completely different architecture, than what we would normally associate Microsoft Windows with. Not only that, but what we're looking at is the continued miniaturization of all technology. I'm going through the Start menu now to demonstrate how this works. The way I'm doing this is through TeamViewer for Remote Control. This is an application on the Google Play Market. You can download this on your phone and install TeamViewer on your desktop. As long as you perform these tasks, and maintain access to your phone to a wireless data plan or access point, you can access the Windows desktop. You can see that this is a difficult environment to navigate around in. Everything is extraordinarily small. The Droid Charge itself is about the size of a large candy bar. The built-in WYSIWYG keyboard is definitely not easy to use and not designed to work with Windows technology exclusively. It is important to emphasize that I am not running Windows technology on my Android phone. I am remoting into a Windows desktop through the TeamViewer software using my internet connection. You can see that I am struggling around using the keyboard and using mouse mode. And this does beg the question as to how easy it would be to use this on a phone using Windows 8 that does have support for touchscreen technology. This software is definitely going to change the game. What I would like to see is the TeamViewer software able to run on the phone and allow you to use the phone from the desktop. Now that would be interesting. But getting back to the issue, the fact is that Windows has a graphical user interface known as the desktop that was never designed for miniaturized devices. When looking at something like this, I am continually amazed at the advancement of technology. This application is free, but the application for running it on your desktop is not free for non-commercial use. You can see it running on the system tray, right at the bottom of the screen. You can use advanced features to remote control your system and access it 24 hours a day. This application will work on any Android device, including tablets. If you have a large enough tablet device, the management of the Windows desktop should not be as difficult. But you can see how large my fingers are relative to the device, and it begs the question of whether or not Microsoft is developing the Windows 8 operating system solely for something like this. Now if you go into settings into this application, you can see that you have a number of options. These options allow you to change the quality of the stream, allow you to check the event logs and turn the logs on and off, and these options allow you to change the resolution. You would think that changing the resolution would somehow make it easier to navigate the desktop, but this is not the case. In fact, it makes it a little bit more complicated to use it. There's less leg room available, but uh, in the case that you're on the go, this may become quite useful, especially on a pad-based device. This kind of software is useful when you are far away from a computer and need to use it urgently. For technical support reasons, it is invaluable. With the right mobile hardware, uh, this could be a great type of technology. However, I still feel it is not ready for prime time. I'm still wondering what it will be like when this software is available for Windows 8 and other touchscreen based operating systems. It is clear now to see that Windows 8 is being developed with touchscreen in mind and perhaps solely for that reason. The market of cell phones is incredible. There are more cell phones with cameras in the United States of America than there are human beings. Windows 8 is going to be solely compatible with mobile applications and hardware. If that is the only reason for its development, this is something that we should look at, especially with the ARM-based version of the operating system. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. This has been Mike from Windows8Forms.com. I encourage you to visit us and read the description on this thread. If you liked what you see here, please like this video and go ahead and visit us and discuss this issue with us because as long as you have this application and this software, you will be able to use any 
operating system uh, basically from your Android device. In fact, uh, if I had enough comments for it or something, I could go ahead and run Windows 95 uh, on my Android phone and show it to you in another video. And um, <laughs> if someone wants me to do that, I may actually create another video and do that. But for now, you can see how this works, and it is quite a bit of a learning curve. My fingers are just too big for such a small screen, but we're getting there, and this is amazing technology, people. Thanks for watching this video. A Windows 8 Forums video production. Visit us at windows8forums.com.